Hello, you're welcome to a new series, Business Lessons from the Bible. The Bible is not just a religious book, it's a manual for life. Basic information before living earth is the most effective book we need on earth. All through this series, we'll be sharing tips and principles from the Bible that can help enhance our businesses. Stay through and you will be glad you did. to another episode on our series business lessons from the bible today we are looking at john 4 reading just verse 1 and 2. the bible said jesus knew that the pharisees had heard that he was winning and baptizing more followers than john was look at verse 2 he said but jesus jesus is disciples we are really the ones doing the baptizing and not Jesus. What's the business lesson there? Jesus leveraged the power of delegation. Delegation transfers competence to your team. That's why we tagged this topic, building the effectiveness of your team members. You know, delegation is one sure way to build the effectiveness of your team members and Jesus leveraged it. And the Pharisees began to notice that Jesus was winning and baptizing more followers and even John because John practically walked all alone. Delegation builds team confidence. Delegation makes your team begin to see themselves as authorities. Delegation helps us to get our intended result through multiple pathways. Then delegation makes all of us champions. So if you must build the effectiveness of your team member, you have to leverage the power of delegation. So these are a few action steps that can help you manage delegation effectively. Don't wait for your team members to be the best in whatever they're doing before you delegate to them. Because it's one mistake that a lot of us do. We're asking ourselves, can they do it like I would do it? The goal is not for them to do it like you do it. The goal is for them to do it like they would do it and achieve even a better result. Then assign tasks and give them expectations, not the step-by-step -step process. How do I mean? Build the full picture that you want and not the step-by-step. -step. Because once you give them the full-blown picture and you're telling them step-by-step, -step, it means you want them to follow your path. That's not delegation in reality. Then guide them through healthy feedbacks. Give them the necessary feedbacks that guides them on the go. Then do not try to micromanage them. Otherwise, you're giving a task to somebody, you are paused on your own task and try to ensure they are doing it your way. You know, then appreciate their progress, not perfection. Yes, because somebody else is doing something that you are either to be doing by yourself, there's a, there's a temptation to begin to measure how they are doing it with how you're doing it. Instead, appreciate their progress and not wait to appreciate them only when they perfect it. Then expose them to trainings and resources that will help them do it better. And then expect them to get better on the job because people will grow up or down to meet your expectation. So you must have a healthy expectation of them, expecting them to get better. If you don't expect that they will get better, they will never get better because they are working to meet your expectation. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Let's do this again tomorrow. Shall